Well, some made the grade and some could use improvement. That's according to new state report cards grading Wisconsin public schools. And Andy Choi joins us now with an overview and more on how the Madison schools fared. You know, report card day always makes me <laughs> nervous. Now, the good news is most Wisconsin schools met or exceeded state expectations. But like any student's progress, Madison parents say finding ways to improve takes an approach that may go beyond the scope of these new report cards. Tell me what this is. Learning is a lifelong task for six-year-old Eli. Not just developing as a learner, but developing as a whole person. And like a good parent, Eli's mother, Gina Richardson, makes sure her kindergartner's making the grade. Different kind of lines. Different kind of lines, so what's this line? Which is why she and scores of parents are closely looking over these grades. Measuring test scores and achievement gaps, the Department of Public Instruction released report cards for 2,000 Wisconsin public schools, placing them in five different performance categories. Taking a look at Madison's elementary schools, Lapham, Franklin, and Marquette received top honors, significantly exceeding state expectations. Sandberg, Hawthorne, and Lindbergh were at the city's bottom end. We should note no Madison school failed to meet state expectations, something the district says it's proud of. We feel really good about all of our schools and the high performing schools will be places where we'll definitely be looking to see what we can learn and if there are some things that um, we can learn from those schools to do in other schools. Sapillo, sapillo. And while Eli's school, Sandberg Elementary, fell near the bottom of Madison's scores, parents say the report cards may be overlooking important factors. Sandberg is about 47% English as a second language, um, and the test is only given in English. So the fact that we scored really low is really non-relevant because we have so many students, almost half of our students don't speak English as a first language. It's bigger than just one measure, so there are a lot of measures in there, and it's important for us to look at those measures with a different lens for each school. And if you'd like to take a look at the report cards yourself, we've provided a link on our website, channel3000.com. We were just talking about how those elementary schools ran the gamut on grades. What about the high schools? That you saw? Yeah, you know, uh, we know that none of the high schools reached the highest possible rating, but all of them met state expectations. Now, Madison East had the district's lowest score overall at 55.6%. A lot of numbers there, and for a lot of families, all of these numbers can be very confusing. And it's why principals from each school are in the process of sending letters to parents, explaining the new report card grades, and starting the discussion on how to take those recommendations and make some tangible improvements. Mm -hmm. Again, check them out, channel3000.com. We've got them there for your school. Andy, thanks. And 